Mark, Artur, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys? Good, Great. good, good morning. Guys, very special package in my hand. You guys know what it is? I bet you Artur might have an idea, but I am I'm, I'm I'm curious. I can I can maybe guess at it, but uh unbox that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we are going to be putting air in everywhere. Autonomous intelligent response. And what I hold in front of me right now is the final candidate for RADCAM, which will be the first air infused residential camera. I can imagine we'll have a line potentially if this unit is successful. Air infused RADCAM. That looks great. That is turn, it. Turn, it, turn it all the way around, Steve, so we can see it from the front. There you go. Arthur's seen it already, but this is my first uh, my first experience with it. There you go. Uh, I love this thing. It's made out of made out of steel. I hope this is the one that becomes the final unit. But right now, it's certainly leaning in that direction. Right. Yeah, we've tested a bunch of them, and uh, that one is you know the best that we feel really great going forward with. I think so too. Twenty five manufacturers later. That's so you mentioned hit. air, Steve. You said air. Is that you're you're going? We're going from talk down to talking is that it? exactly exactly huh. we're going from the talk down cameras remote operator talking through a mic you know telling people what to do we know how effective it is so we kind of went from remote video monitoring sitting on top of our autonomous response and now we're taking that final next step into autonomous intelligent response going from talk down camera to talking camera and this is going to be the first one on the residential side. Of course, it's going to be in all the RAD devices as well. Yeah, you mentioned the RAD devices, which, of course, uh, near and dear to our collective hearts. But I, I see that. And I think that we've got to get this in the hands of clients and dealers, too. Right. What do you what do you guys think about that? The more the merrier, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah what to me, thinking? it's uh, to, to, to me, I think they would see the value right away, and uh, it's it's significant change, right? It, it, this is really bringing about industry change, so we got to get that into the more hands as we uh, as we uh, or the most hands as we possibly can. I think so. So, Steve, can we bring this or can we give this to all Rad Inc. customers? Hmm. I mean, we certainly can. Uh, I think we should. I think that we should set up a program where Rad Inc. customers and dealers get a Rad Cam with something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think we yeah, build yeah, it yeah. into the program there. But yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I totally. I'm down. I'm down. I love that. Funny enough that you say uh, you know you want to give it to the to our uh, commercial partners because, as uh, Steve mentioned before, the quality and the build yeah. is solid metal. So I know it's you know we're gearing it towards the residential. But it's it's a really good product. Yeah, the application definitely goes goes wide, very very wide. So so I'm excited about this now, Steve. Uh, timelines, next steps. What are we looking at? Well, we on our schedule for production for this is uh, we need to make the final decision, making this the actual unit on May 28th. That's the decision date to stay right. on track for Radcam. So. We'll know next week if this indeed is going to be the final unit. Of course, I highly expect it will be, but it's not done till it's done. Uh, from that point, we're going to have some type of uh, in-country uh, kind of pilot, kind of looking for 100, 200, 300 beta testers. I don't know the exact number yet. Might limit it to 100. I don't know yet. So we'll bring in those units. We'll start using those beta um, users to, you know, trim out the customer experience and the functionality and do a lot of learning in that process. Um, and then that's while, of course, we build, you know, probably 10,000, maybe 20,000 of these and get them ready for sale in, in the fall. So that's kind of roughly what the timeline is. In terms of the betas being available, uh, I would say July units would be in hand of the beta testers in July, August is, is what we're looking for. 
Yeah. Well, from talk down to talking, that change is significant, right? And that's uh, that's going to impact the industry. So I'm really looking forward to getting that in the hands of uh, hands of our customers. And uh, you know what? Personally, I'm looking forward to getting mine. That's, that's what I'm saying too. You know, <laughs> I'm saying too. I love my roses, but you know, a little overkill for the house. So this is going to be the first residential air device, the first purpose-built air device. All right, guys, let's go. Have a great one.